Welcome back guys to tutorial number 8 of the Node.js series. Now in Node.js, whenever we want to perform file I.O. like read from a file or write to a file, then we make use of a core module called the file system module. And every function in the FS module is going to have a synchronous form and an asynchronous form. So let's understand with an example by reading data from a file how the file system module works. So let's first create our input file from where we're going to read our data from. So just file save it as input.txt and let's say this is the input file contains nothing useful just read this stuff. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. So save it Go back to your app.js. Now, as usual, we are going to require our file system module. So variable fs is equal to require fs. That's a core module. Now, in the next line, first, we are going to read the data asynchronously. Asynchronously, yeah. So fs dot read file. So we are going to be making use of the read file function in the fs module and our first parameter is going to be the input file so input.txt and the second parameter is going to be an anonymous callback function. So function and this callback function is going to take two parameters. The first one is an error if at all one occurred and the second one is the data that was read from the input file. So in our body, we can type if there was an error, then log that error onto your console. So console.log error. Now if there was no error and we have ended up reading the data, then let's just console that out. So async data is and then concatenated with our data but we also need to convert it into a string so data dot to string and let's now read again in the synchronous form so we are going to use a variable called data to store what is read from the file so variable data is equal to fs dot read file sync because it is a synchronous version of it and we just specify the input file. So input.txt. Now once we have read the data, let's print that out onto our console. So console.log synchronous data is and then plus data dot to string function. Alright, then let's just say console.log this is the end. Okay, so let's save this and let's go to our open a command prompt and when we execute node app.js then it says sync data is and we get the data from our input file then this is the end and then asynchronous data this and we get we get the data again from the file so what's happening here now our first read was an asynchronous one and the second read was a synchronous one now what happens in the asynchronous read is we're going to read the data from the input.txt file but we are not going to block the next line of code whenever the data is retrieved then we call back this function which is going to print in our print in our console the data whereas in the synchronous form it is going to block the execution till it reads the input.txt file once it reads it is going to print that out to our console and then we are going to say console.log this is the end and after that we have our data retrieved in the asynchronous function and it ends up printing onto the console so even though we have an asynchronous function before the synchronous function, this is how Node.js execution works 
by using the callback function so we don't have to block code now I'm just repeating this concept of callback function so that it is sort of imprinted on your mind how it works and anyway that's that's pretty much it about the file system module how you can read from a file in the synchronous and asynchronous way so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video